Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time to go through my collection again. <laughs> and uh, it has grown somewhat since last time, so uh, I'm going to take you through it as best I can. And um, this, com this is comprised of uh, a full Jim Dunlop shop display, uh, a big bowl, and two toolboxes and uh, a row of jewellery craft boxes as well. So I have pieces from the following. Jim Dunlop, Serkaya, Depic Argentina, Switchpick, Sinister, um, Sweeney, Metapix, BHL, Tridents, Taylor, um, Huffschmidt, Johnny Raven, Savage Customs, uh, Liggett, Iron Age, Re uh, Hendrix Picks, Pickboy, Wedgie, Wingbeat Designs, Oval Picks, New World, Mathas, Ibanez. We got a whole load of promotional picks from like Earthquaker and Bare Knuckle and, and all that sort of stuff. Dava, Dandrea, Master 8, Jackson. There's a few unknown wooden ones that I can't remember where they came from. Timbertones, Bog Street, Crows Customs, Plex, JTL. We've got Apophis, Plectro, Functional Customs. We've got Ernie Ball, uh, Dodario, Matchpick, Stone Age, Zufoy, Earthpicks, Starpicks, um, Gravity, V-Picks, Dollman, um, Purple Plectrums, Chicken Picks, Swiss Picks, Dragonheart, Woodland Cast, Gem Picks, Hawk, uh, Howling Monkey, Thor, Isetti, um, Clayton, Dragon Picks, Anatomy of Sound, Pigtrum, um, we've also got uh, Piglet, we've got Fender, Ricky LaPletrier, Fellow, Days Atomic, um, Arcanum, um, and Thalia, and Tantris, and Rockhard, and probably a couple of others that I can't remember. Wharf Shop, um, Zenpix, so they're all kind of dotted around. Cactus, Rombo, um, McPherson, Ston, a couple of real vintage ones, uh, Pletchum's Handcrafted, and... And I think that's it. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to count them. It's only taken me an hour and a half to do this. Because <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. I was watching the amazing um, Down the Rabbit Hole episode on Temple OS. Uh, which is really, really interesting. And uh, I'm going to go and count all these now. And then put them away. Um, but in the meantime, uh, I hope this has been a little bit of fun for you guys to see. Uh, I do take my collecting relatively seriously and as I said in the past I'm a modern collector so I'm, I'm not a vintage guy I've got some vintage picks uh, but the important thing for me is to just find as many companies as I can and spread my limited funds across those companies so uh, if there's somebody I missed uh, or if there is somebody you think I should be checking out please let me know uh, down in the comments and uh, I'll speak to you all soon Rep hard, rep heavy.